Well, folks, I am on location in jolly old England. Look, a clock. We don't have that in America. And at the time of filming this, I've already been in town for about 12 hours, and the accent still hasn't kicked in yet, which kind of sucks for me, because I know Madonna got the accent by simply walking through Heathrow Airport. American girls would seriously dig me with my cute British accent. Maybe I just have to embrace more Englishy things. Buckingham Palace. London Bridge. Piggy pudding. Tea. Biscuits. Croissant. Wait, wait, no, 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 that's French. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberry. Cucumber sandwiches. Wait, I think I've got it. By Jove, I'm English. I feel like I'm chosen. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're talking about Supreme's Week 9, It's Spring Tea Week! Oh yes, very exciting. Supreme will be releasing eight different t-shirts in multiple colorways this week. But wait, there's more. There are also a couple of cool accessories like this timer. And then it looks like we're getting a repeat of the Supreme repeat belt. As you can see, I am not at home. I am in London today of all days. And earlier today, I was able to head over to the West End and check out the Palace London store and the Supreme London store. I got some decent video and pictures. Hopefully there's enough to put a video together for that. If not, it'll just turn into shorts and maybe some Instagram content, so just pay attention for that. The answer's no. And of course, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on notifications. So then you'll always know when I'm able to do a live stream. I believe live streams are going to be halted for a couple of weeks here. I apologize for all of you guys that are really interested in only the live streams. Your money and infrastructure have been important. Till now. I'll do my best to figure out how to do a couple of giveaways while I'm gone. Maybe I'll use Instagram or Discord instead of YouTube, but I will post it on YouTube before I make any decision. And as always, I understand nobody cares. Let's get into the drop. First up, we have these wool trouser shorts. I don't intend to make this a long video, so let's move along. Next up, we have this Ronin football jersey. It's honestly my least favorite of all the Ronin items that I've seen so far. It feels a little too boring and plain, to be honest with you. I don't really see any resale here, and I don't actually like it for the personal, so I'm just straight up skipping it. Skip, 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 skip. Next up, we have these Ronin mesh shorts. I believe they go with the football top, uh, although, yes, a little bit better than the football top still nothing that I'm that interested in and much like the football top I don't see these shorts seeing any resale in the future either next up we have this pinstripe linen shirt if you like linen shirts you probably really aren't shopping for supreme stuff that's just what I think maybe that's not true that is true Next up, we have the leather patch six panel. I'm not the biggest fan of this particular hat. I don't really see these doing well down the road. If you were gonna take a gamble, probably the black one and that gray one because it has a red box logo. This is definitely not the best six panel they've put out. I don't think that you need to go after this for any reason, unless you just really like it and you wanna wear it. Next up, we have these gingham flight pants. It kind of sucks that they didn't make these orange. All you folks out there that have those lobster dunks could have bought these pants if they were orange. And then you just buy the hat that's coming up as well, and you have the entire lobster fit. It's definitely an interesting item. 168 is kind of on the higher end for the price point of pants, and I just think it would be a huge risk to buy these for anything other than personal reasons. Next up, we have the Gingham Camp Cap. At least with the hat, you can get the orange colorway to go with your lobster dunks. Finally, all you guys that cop lobsters get a break. I got a fat ass lobster, you know what I'm saying? Whole lot of gang shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm honestly not really sure what to tell you here. I could see these doing okay in certain colorways, but I could also see other colorways doing horrible and nobody wanting them. I know it sounds dumb, but that orange colorway might be the most popular one just because of the correlation with the lobsters. All in all though, not my favorite camp cap. There will be better ones coming out in the future. And again, unless you're really wanting to keep this for personal or you need free shipping or something to that effect, I would probably wait for other hats. Why would we do that? Next up, we have our first t-shirt, the Tamagotchi tee. That's right, there's something on that t-shirt. You just have to zoom in real close. 
I really don't think there's anything special about this t-shirt. If you want one for yourself, get it. But otherwise, let's keep going. Next up, we have the AOI Buddha pin. Again, another great item to just throw into a cart. It's not going to be that expensive. The price point will be around $10, so nothing crazy. Heck, any new pin makes a great addition to your collection. Once you get locked into a serious drug collection, the tendency is to push it as far as you can. Next up, we have this repeat stitched anorak. Now, actually, although very subtle, this is a pretty intricate and cool piece. If you get in close, you can see the word Supreme is just embroidered all across that whole jacket. I think that the khaki colorway actually makes the design pop out the best. But to be fair, all three of them are good colors. And with a price point at $198, it probably means it's a pretty thin anorak. I don't think that the branding is big enough or bold enough for it to be a resale piece over time, but I I do think this would make a really good piece for anyone's personal collection. It looks like a really cool little anorak. Uh, nah. Next up, the Supreme Racing Fleece Jacket. I'm not really a big fan of this fleece. If you like it, that I mean, that's good for you. I, I just do not see these doing well in the resale market. Usually, Supreme and Fleece is a gold mine. It hasn't really been the case as of the last, I don't know, few seasons. But to be fair, they haven't made a really amazing fleece either, in my opinion. This one also not an amazing fleece. If you do happen to like it and buy it, just know you're probably going to be wearing it soon. I'm not putting on a jacket. Next up, we have the strawberries tee. Um, again, much like the Tamagotchi tee, I don't really like this one that much. It's a bowl of strawberries. I mean, I need more nourishment than just a bowl of strawberries. Can I get a cheeseburger? Where are the McNuggets? This is just not a meal that I want to partake in. You're gonna have to eat it. Next up, we have the League tee. Now, actually, I kind of dig this one, but this is the first t-shirt that I'm starting to get into. Probably a black XXL could do good in this one down the road. So if we don't get final pictures of what everything looks like, that's definitely something you're gonna need to pay attention to on drop day. After shooting the video, Video, they loaded in some skate decks that show the different colorways for the basketballs that should be on the t-shirts and they also loaded in a strawberry skate deck which should go splendidly with your fine china dining set it's hey. not gonna be fine ever next up we have this washed knockout denim varsity jacket i just think they've been putting out a ton of these big jackets lately this one does have a nice big spell out on the front but i don't really like this jacket all that much it's kind of boring with just the big supreme on it it. There may be some interest in the actual denim colorway of the jacket, but at the end of the day, I, I think this one would be a little bit risky to go after for resale. For some reason at this point, my microphone decided to stop recording, so that means the rest of this video is iPhone audio. Enjoy. Adios, senor. Next up, we have the Supreme Beaded Hooded Sweatshirt. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to get behind this one, and I, I'm not even going to talk about it, to be honest with you. You, d you deal with this one on your own, okay? This is on you. You're not my dad! Next up, we have cargo pants. Do you like to wear pants? Do you like your pants to have more pockets? <laughs> well, here you go, cargo pants. Next up, we have the eyewear tee. Now, I don't know how you can go wrong when you have two models playing hard to get with Supreme sunglasses on. That seems like the trifecta of greatness. I think this is a decent shirt as well. Probably the XXL in good colorways could do okay, but there are still better tees to come, so let's move forward. You little bitch. Next up, we have the Overdyed S Logo Sweatpants. Now, I think these look really good. I love these colorways. Supreme likes to tax you on the sweatpants. They're really expensive for sweats. All that said, these are really cool. I actually really like these, and there could be some weird potential with like that black color and that off-whitey dirty white colorway. That said, buying sweatpants for reselling is very risky. If you do so, I wish you good luck, sir. Next up, we have the Body Snatchers tee. This is another design by our good friend Weirdo Dave. I actually don't hate this tee either. It has a nice chesticle hit box logo on the front. The main back hit is a little bit dumb, but it's not that bad. The more that I look at it, the more that I like this one. Again, and another XXL black probably has some potential, but the Weirdo Dave stuff hasn't really done that well in the past, so we'll just have to see on that one. Moving along. <laughs> Next 
Next up, I think this might be my favorite t-shirt of the group, this Ronin tee. I like the nice hit on the front. I like the Ronin tag on the back. This shirt in black, XL, XXL, should do okay. The only thing is, I don't know how popular Ronin really is, based on how the other items have done so far. Either way, personally, this is my favorite t-shirt that they're putting out this week. So that's usually the kiss of death for any t-shirt coming out, so there's that. Next up, we have this Ronin short sleeve top. Uh, this one's also really cool. I do like this one. However, as a premium tee with a collaboration, this is probably $98 at the cheapest, which means that you're gonna have to really, really like it if you wanna buy it. And I just really don't see any resell in a short sleeve shirt. Although, a really cool short sleeve shirt. All right, next up, we have the business tee. Yes, business. Yes, business time. That's what you're trying to say. You're trying to say, let's get down to business. It's business time. I am just extremely torn on this t-shirt. I think it looks dumb as hell, but somehow it's voted up and folks in the Discord and other Discords are like, I like that business tee. Business tee fire. Business tee legit. Gonna get me some business tee. I mean, it kind of looks like a Wallace and Gromit knockoff to me. Pretty much any of these shirts, XXL in black, will get you some profit down the road. And in my opinion, always worth a stupid gamble. So, you know, why not? Let's go after it. All right, and next up, the pinnacle of the week nine t-shirt game, the Arabic logo. Oh, Arab was he? Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him and there was nothing funny about him at all. That's right, folks, an Arabic logo is coming right back at you and it's in t-shirt form. We're gonna get a bunch of different colorways. I think that Laker colorway is gonna be the one that does the best for you. That's just my personal opinion. The black t-shirt will also do really well. Both XXLs is what I would recommend to go after. Basically, if you're gonna buy a shirt this week to resell it, you should be buying an XXL. And if for some reason that sells out, buy the XL instead. If you buy any other sizes in these t-shirts, you're already asking for trouble. But again, the Arabic logo is a pretty popular design that's been around a little while. It should be able to do okay. The, the hoodies that came out did not do that well, but hoodies carry a much steeper retail price than any t-shirt does. If you can pick up the sizes and colors that I talked about, then you're gonna be a happy camper at the end of the day. Next up, we have this over-dyed S logo hooded sweatshirt. Now, I really do love the colors on these items. I like that over-dyed look. This is a set of hoodies that could actually, potentially, almost sell out. I really like the purple and green colorways. The black one is fine. That white one kind of looks like somebody did an oil change on it before they sent it to the store. Oh, oil my arms, please. Oil my elbows. I don't know if I like that or dislike that. I'm still on the fence about that, I, I, but that's the one that kind of sticks out the most to me right now. Again, if you're going to target this for reselling, which is very dangerous with hoodies nowadays, I'm not really too into the khaki colorway, but the other ones all look really good, and I could see some demand for these things down the road. I anticipate XXL sizing in most of these colorways will be gone fairly quickly. But again, it all depends on the amount of stock they make, and it does look like VF Corp is just jamming stock into Supreme this season. So to be honest, like any item that you're looking at this year for reselling that is not a collaboration piece is very, very risky. Danger's my middle name. Next up, we have the repeat leather belt. I think last time the black belt did okay. I did grab a couple of these belts the last time that they came out. Uh, I think I was able to sell one for 200 and then the other one, which was a smaller size, I basically kind of got retail back for it. I don't really have a lot of faith in these belts since they did already come out. I think that neon yellow one is obviously a new colorway, if that means anything. Uh, it's kind of ugly, so I don't think that that's going to help it any. I would focus on the black belt in the larger size, so probably large, extra large, or if it's just extra large, go after that. To be honest with you, if you took the money that you were going to buy this belt with and buy t-shirts with it, you're probably going to have more profit at the end of the day. These are definitely cool belts, but I think that that high retail kind of keeps any resale perspective off the table for these things. Well, bye-bye belt. All right, guys, and here we go. The number one item on the Supreme Community list, a rocket timer. Sky rockets in flight. Boom! Afternoon delight. Whoop. That's right, guys. If you've ever wanted to know the exact moment that two minutes is up, this timer can do it for you. You just, you set it up and all the little sand will run to the bottom and then you take that rocket and you flip it over and then you can do it again. It's literally endless fun, two minutes at a time. 
afternoon delight. Now Drops has this priced out at $38. That's not really a bad price. I mean, it is going to be like that big, so you're probably not going to be super happy if you pay $40 for basically an egg timer. Drops has these listed at $38, which really isn't that bad for a Supreme item, but you're basically paying $38 for a little Pictionary timekeeper. I hate to break it to all you guys that voted this thing out, but it's 150% a personal. It's a cool personal, a little expensive for what it is, but a personal nonetheless. Oh, I love trash. And there's your week. Are you grabbing any of those t-shirts? Do you like the belts? Are you gonna get a timer? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't you do it! Thank you guys for watching the video. Sorry that this is coming out a little bit late. Obviously, I'm traveling. But if for some reason this video hasn't given you all the Fauntleroy that you need in your life today, well, then you should check out these videos right here. Yeah, yeah, my tank like Piggy if the head right. I'm there all night like Gizzy when I see it. I'ma hit it on sight.